Over the past few weeks, we've been getting a ton of new details regarding the future of Google's Tensor chips for both the upcoming Pixel 10 and 11, with a big focus, thankfully, on improving efficiency, thermals, and optimizing performance. This information appears to come directly from Google as internal documents right from their own chip development team have come to light recently, suggesting a lot of exciting things coming to the future of Pixel phones. We know Google has been spending the past few years improving the Tensor series, and while they've made some significant strides in this area, the Tensor chips have yet to match the efficiency of Qualcomm's chips, and it seems Google is well aware of this too, as confirmed by elite internal documents citing thermal comfort for limits as one of the key factors driving pixel returns, and these leaked documents highlight how Google plans to address the issue as well. As we've discussed a few times on the channel, Google is making a big move here with the Tensor G5. The overarching plan is to move away from Samsung manufacturing and partner with TSMC instead to produce the G5 using their cutting edge 3 nanometer and 3E process. From what we know, this switch alone should bring a big efficiency boost, especially given TSMC's 3 nanometer process has a proven track record of superior efficiency compared to Samsung's process. And this move follows in the footsteps of Apple with the iPhone 16 as it also uses TSMC's 3 nanometer process where it's gotten nothing but positive impressions so far. And it does not stop there as this same report suggests that the Tensor G6 meant for the Pixel 11 will utilize an even more advanced TSMC process under the N3P node, which is also the same technology Apple plans to employ in its upcoming a19 chip so from this perspective it does seem future tensor chips have the potential to be competitive with the best of the best Thankfully, we did get deeper insight for both the Tensor G5 and G6 with some pretty big changes we can expect. Just as a warning, this is a lot of technical talk here, but on paper, the Tensor G5 will adopt a 1 to 5 to 2 CPU layout using TSMC's N3E node, which includes one high-performance ARM Cortex-X4 core, five Cortex-A725 cores as middle performance cores, and two Cortex-A520 cores dedicated to efficiency. Which is a notable change from the Tensor G4's 1 to 3 to 4 setup, changing the layout to have five Cortex-A725 cores that should help increase efficiency without affecting the device responsiveness. When it comes to the GPU, the Tensor G5 will transition from the ARM Mali GPU to a GPU from Imagination Technologies expected to support ray tracing and GPU virtualization, which is an interesting change considering Imagination Technologies was once a supplier for Apple's GPUs not too long ago. Then we have the Tensor G6 codenamed Malibu, which is set to bring new upgrades as well. The G6 will reportedly use a 1 to 6 core configuration with a next generation ARM Cortex 930 as its flagship core, likely to be branded as the Cortex X5, and will also include a suite of unreleased Cortex 730 middle cores. Notably, Google seems to be dropping traditional efficiency cores in favor of this configuration, a move also seen in Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite where performance cores were optimized for efficiency, eliminating the need for separate efficiency cores as a whole. The Tensor G6 is also expected to feature an upgraded GPU from Imagination Technologies, which is set to consume 15% less power than the Tensor G5 GPU. Another interesting detail that showed up in the internal documents, Google may be working on a custom Tensor chip for its Pixel Watch expected to launch in the next few years. Currently, Google's Pixel Watch models run on chips supplied by Samsung and Qualcomm, that being the Snapdragon W5 Plus chip. So far, I've been more than happy with its performance and power efficiency, especially since Wear OS 5, but it seems Google might introduce its own custom chip, potentially labeled as a Tensor chip for the Pixel Watch, most likely in time for the Pixel Watch 5 in 2026. Alongside improved performance, the internal documents documents gave us a sneak peek into what features we can look forward to for the upcoming Pixel 10 and 11. Android Authority reports that the Tensor G6's image signal processor could support an under-display IR camera system. Although no official confirmation exists at this time, an IR camera would make face unlock possible even in absolute darkness, something that is currently a pain point on Pixels we have today. We had high quality face unlock in the past with the Pixel 4, which featured a dot projector flood illumination 
Illuminator and dual IR cameras that allowed users to unlock their devices regardless of lighting conditions. And then the Pixel 7 and later models adopted a camera-based approach enhanced with machine learning algorithms running on the Tensor chip. So hopefully we do end up with an under display IR system in the Pixel 11 as it would improve usability massively without compromising the device's aesthetics by requiring a larger bezel to house the sensors. In addition to performance and security, the Tensor G5 and G6 chips could bring major advancements to the Pixel's camera and video capabilities. It seems the G5 chip in the Pixel 10 will support 4K 60 frames per second HDR video recording, a significant improvement over the Pixel 9, which was limited to 30 frames. The Tensor G5's AI capabilities might also enable enhanced video editing features within the Photos app. One feature, described as generative AI-based intuitive video editing, could work similarly to Google's Magic Editor, but for video, allowing users to make sophisticated edits directly on their device. Other rumored features include a speak to tweak for voice activated photo adjustments and sketch to image, likely based on stable diffusion models, which would allow users to transform sketches into detailed images. Looking forward to the Tensor G6, Google plans to support on device ultra low light video recording in the Pixel 11, eliminating the need for cloud processing for video boost. The internal documents also indicate Google's working on 100x zoom for the Tensor G6 through a combination of software and hardware improvements. And finally, Google's cinematic blur option might also support 4K30 recording and include a video relight feature, allowing users to adjust lighting conditions in videos after recording. I know that was a lot, and trust me, this leak is massive, but it does seem with these developments, Google's upcoming Tensor chips could very well have a dedicated focus on efficiency, AI-powered features, and security upgrades. Keep in mind, this is just a glimpse and take everything with a huge grain of salt until we get official confirmation from Google. In the meantime, leave a comment and let me know your thoughts. Is the Pixel 10 and beyond looking to be a big upgrade? And if not, what features or changes would you like to see implemented over the next few years to keep the Pixel line competitive? We'd love to see what you have to say down below, but for now, I'm getting out of here. Before I do though, huge shout out to our channel members on screen right now. Simply put, you guys are awesome and thank you so much for supporting us as Damien and I work super hard to make the best Android content on the platform. Until next time, this has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.